people who watched the new Borat movie, what are your thoughts on the scene with Rudy Giuliani? He looks like he's wearing someone else's teeth. People seem overly focused on whether he was tucking his shirt or grabbing his junk. Or whether he really though the actress was 15 before going to the bedroom with her. You're all missing the bigger picture. Regardless of whether he tucked or not, the fact that a random chick was able to get past his security without anyone checking her background to figure out who she was and convinced him to get in a position that asterisk looks asterisk very compromising on camera tells us that Giuliani is unfit for any job that requires a security clearance and interacting with sensitive information. I've worked in security clearance checks for the government and this is exactly the kind of behavior that makes someone ineligible for a clearance because that is a huge security risk. If Rudy will go to bed and get in a compromising position with any young groupie type who flirts with him, that's how he'll get blackmailed and be forced to give up government secrets. I am not a Trump supporter. In a situation like this where Cohen is in control of the editing and is intentionally trying to make it look as bad as possible you have to give the benefit of the doubt to the victim. For example, most assume that Borat ran in and stopped it from getting worse. I assume they would have loved it to get worse. But when it doesn't Borat rushes in and then they edit the worst part to when he rushes in to make it seem like Borat stops it. That said Rudy should be embarrassed that he got taken like this. I think he's gross so wanted it to be proof but it really just looked like an old dude adjusting to me, not jacking off. Possibly tucking in his shirt. It was weird that he was on the bed or asking for her address though. Oh. Not seen it yet but I imagine the opinions will divide neatly along pre-existing political views. He's a dumb, creepy alcoholic and needs help desperately, and is probably compromised by Russia, because he's incomprehensibly dumb, and unscrupulous. He's completely creepy throughout the interview but he does seem to be tucking in his shirt and it's clear she untucked it. 100% he was touching himself. Then the way he shot up once he heard Borat coming. Dude is easier to manipulate than a ball of clay. Edit. What makes it a bad look is that this man has a close connection with the president and he clearly can be fooled into compromising circumstances. If SBC can do this then I wonder what the Russians can do. Also it further shows that Trump and his people are not part of the moral right like Trump supporters think. I'll get downvoted for sure but it definitely looked like he was tucking his shirt back in. The creepy part was the way he asked for the address and phone number. For all we know he was moments away from making a move on her. I was personally hoping for some, smoking gun, style evidence here but it's just not there. Perhaps there's some extended version of this scene where he says more things but it's hard for me to make much of this. I don't know what I was expecting. Had he taken his pants off they probably couldn't use the footage. There's also the fact that her character was 15 but she was 24. And she never mentioned she was 15. I hate Giuliani so much but this is just gonna go on the long list of reasons why. I noticed his forehead was a little shiny right after the incident. Not sure if his head was sweating from being nervous or not. He definitely thought something was gonna happen in the bedroom I think. But to be fair, the girl did touch his thighs at least twice during the interview so she probably led him to believe something else was gonna come up. I don't think he was tucking in his shirt. If I was in Rudy's position and she was touching my leg, laughing and drinking and moved the convo to the bedroom I would have been DTF as well, she is really attractive. Watching it was pretty clear he was just honestly tucking his shirt in, you can see her take his mic off just before it. That's not the problem. The problem is that it things were able to get to that point. The insane lack of judgment to have gone into that room alone with her, it just shows how easy it is to compromise these high-level people. I can't say for sure if he was touching himself. It looks really fucking suspicious, but the claim he made could be true. My bigger concern than that scene is the fact that a young female, reporter, was able to bypass any presumed protocols to meet with an advisor to the president alone. The scandal is that he took the interview with zero vetting or research. Everyone is all, Rudy's a pedo, which is a bit of a stretch. He a huge creep, and a walking cadaver, but the fact that he's even in that hotel room in the first place shows how absolutely inept Rudy, and by proxy the people Rudy, represents, are. Rudy Giuliani was obviously trying to sleep with her. 
He was clearly not tucking his shirt in. The only reason we don't have confirmation and footage of his penis is because Sasha Baron Cohen stepped in to prevent Rudy from sexually assaulting the actress. I haven't seen the film but I've seen the clip. After Borat barges in and Rudy says to him, I don't want you, I think that pretty much gives away what his intentions were, like it implies he did want the daughter. Dude was trying to fuck 100%. The guy deaf had bad intentions and thought he was getting some for sure. That being said, he wasn't touching himself there in a masturbatory way. She pulled his extra long tucked in shirt out and he wasn't leaving the bedroom so he didn't want to stand back up to tuck it also editors reversed the shot twice so it prob wasn't as long as portrayed in the movie. Overhyped. Yes, he touches her lower back. But she pushes him onto the bed to fiddle with the mic. He's just tucking in the shirt. I think Rudy is a scumbag, but there's really nothing going on here. I also think Rudy missed have masturbated four times on the stuff he found on Hunter's laptop, so he probably ran out of stamina altogether. He coulda just said, I was about to smash, and, too bad it was a prank, but no he had to go get lawyers. He was an unmarried heterosexual man who was lead on by an attractive and flirtatious 20-something woman. It makes me think the Freemasons are really running everything. I thought the dumbest thing was Rudy saying China made and spread COVID deliberately. Saw it last night. Throughout the interview the actor playing Borat's daughter is flirting with Giuliani, touching his thighs, saying, this is a dream, you're my hero, etc., to which he reciprocates. He agrees to a drink in the bedroom following the fake interview, which is suspect as is. She starts removing equipment from the both of them, mics, wires and whatever else, one of which appears to lift his shirt as it's pulled out, if you watch closely. That being said, it does appear, imply he was tucking in his shirt. Importantly, her age is never mentioned to Giuliani, her character is 15, but the actor is 24, and she doesn't pass for 15. However, note the context that he's alone in a bedroom with this girl, having a drink, and that he was touching her prior to this. 100% he would have had sex with her if the scenario was real or intended, meaning he's unbelievably gullible and is an enormous security risk. While he may not have been touching himself in that exact moment, his intents were very clear, he wanted to have sex with her, and he put himself in an incredibly incriminating position, especially as a high-ranking member of the government. It shows he can be seduced and or blackmailed for information. I wish it was more incriminating but I think it tops out at creepy and strange. Nothing Trumpers haven't already turned a blind eye to. I, I believe it, but I'm biased against the man. Honestly, I think he, not right in the head. Giuliani has some sort of mental state issue right now, well, for a while, and I feel bad for the guy. He's terrible, definitely shouldn't be in the political position he's in, but I feel like he's being used. He'll be the scapegoat when shit hits the fan. It was touching. Doesn't look good that's for sure. He was touching her back inappropriately, and asking for her address. She didn't pretend to be 15 in the interview, but was obviously young and acted with a lot of naivete. He went straight to trying to close the deal the second the interview was over. He definitely thought he was at least about to get a blowjob hand in the pants, it's hard to tell since SBC cut it off early which honestly was probably a good idea cause he could have gotten in trouble, I assume, for having nude footage of Giuliani. It wouldn't make sense that he was tucking in his shirt although that's how it appears at first, because of how she was adjusting his clothing before. But yay, he was definitely going to get physical with her. This man in power thought this pretty girl was going to service him, right after meeting him. Borat intervened way too quickly for anything incriminating to happen but he 100% was putting his hands on his dick. dick. Clearly Giuliani has had drinks in the bedroom with other journalists before. The fact that some random reporter was able to get an interview with such a close advisor to Trump and apparently was able to get a tour of the White House and meet Trump Jr. all without ostensibly clearance or a damn COVID-19 test just demonstrates the nonchalant and gullible nature of the Trump campaign and Giuliani apparently himself. The actress playing Borat's daughter didn't pass for 15 and TBF to Giuliani he had no reason to assume that she was not an adult. If he was actually tucking in his shirt, that was a hell of a tuck.
I don't think this will have a major impact upon the election. However, because most people already find Giuliani abhorrent, for constantly sucking Trump's proverbial dick and or his shady days as NYC mayor, or at best indifferent. Woman shrugging medium dark skin tone. I found it strange and creepy as a whole. The interview with the flirting and the touching. Then the fact alone that he goes to the bedroom with her for a drink, she literally starts removing his shirt from his pants. I think Rudy was ready for a good time no doubt. The hands in his pants thing okay you can make excuses for that, but you were drinking booze in a bed, by yourself, with a reporter that you clearly just flirted with and asked for contact info. On the one side, he is a single man lol. Dude clearly was ready to get laid. He eagerly agrees to, have a drink in the bedroom. Check. Puts his hand on her midsection while asking for her phone number and address. Check. He allows her to help remove his microphone, then lies down on the bed. Even if he was only tucking in his shirt, everything leading up to this was already damning. He was obviously tucking in his shirt, but he was horny. I wonder why Borat came in when he did. Why didn't they let it go a little longer? Rut went in the bedroom to have a drink. WTF was he expecting to happen? Hmm I wonder. Full disclosure. My opinion of Giuliani is that he is a traitorous piece of shit. I have seen the movie. That said, it appears that, while his hand is totally down his pants, it does not look like he is tucking in his shirt, but it also does not look like he is masturbating, given the short amount of time he is actually on the bed with his hand in his pants. At the least, it appears to me that he is definitely adjusting his junk, and that he's thinking he's gonna seal the deal with the reporter. I don't think it's said anywhere how old she is until Borat barges in and says so. As far as him, jumping up, so quickly, I think anyone would have done so if you first heard someone barging in, and two, someone dressed the way Borat is dressed. Giuliani and his security come off looking foolish, at best. It does make one wonder how the hell this guy can be the president's lawyer, and it certainly isn't a stretch to believe that the Russians could have easily beguiled him rather easily with women and or booze to get to Trump. I want to start by saying F asterisk 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 Rudy. Now I'll continue to say what happened was no big deal. A hot 24 year old is constantly rubbing his thigh and then invited him into her room. He's not married and was 100% getting clear signals. It's embarrassing for him but not a moral past the age thing. Still ew she had to touch his thighs yuck. I am not following the cause but the intent was clear to me. I think he was going for the hand pump that controls his boner. Maybe it placed besides his crom. Believe me, I'm no fan of Rudy, even back in the 9-11 crisis days. It seemed to me that yeah, he was making a play for the woman, but I don't think he was jerking off. He was tucking in his shirt, which is a bit odd in front of the woman. Any other guy would have excused himself to the bathroom for a second to remove the mic. Maybe I also missed the part about where Jules thought she was 15. He thought she was a reporter, and they generally aren't underage. The actress herself is not underage, so I think the worst one could say about it is that he was trying to get her into bed, and was impolite about tucking in his shirt and removing the mic. He's still a mega Russian asset scumbag who should be in jail. Can we all agree that Johnny the Monkey was the true hero of this movie? It's too bad that he met with an untimely death. He could have added so much more to the movie. HTTP colon slash slash Johnny the monkey dot com slash. I don't understand why he would take a drink into the the bedroom alone with her. Then he pats her on the waist as he sits on the bed. It looks very very suspect to me. I don't think he should have ever gotten himself into that situation if he didn't have intentions of having some sexual interaction with her. Just another conservative who wears the moral authority badge in public but is a slimeball otherwise. I think his behavior is more important than the tuck jerk. The fact that he was easily led into that situation without ever questioning what was happening, leads me to believe this wasn't an out of the ordinary situation. This wasn't the first time he's been led into a bedroom for extra time. He was very comfortable and willing. If he was a man who had never been in that type of situation, he would have questioned it. Not just sprung up and trotted off to the bedroom with a young girl during a professional interview. Appeared to me as if he was grabbing himself honestly, 
as she seemed to be trying to excite him in a way. The tucking in the shirt is a red herring. He went to have drinks in a bedroom with a young woman. That's sleazy and we all know what was going on. It's not like it's illegal though. Uh, if Sasha Baron Cohen was able to get him in this compromising of a situation. I cannot begin to fathom what Russia has on him. Conservatives go from Jesus to, it was consensual. Really quick now. That was actually Rudy Giuliani. I'm still finding myself unable to believe that. I don't think there's a problem with him having sexual intentions. She was obviously flirtatious, he didn't do anything bad without consent, and most people would be under the assumption that an employed interviewer is over 18. The problem is how easily he was played and lack of security. Even though he does touch the woman before laying down, it does look like he was tucking in his shirt. However, he was also adjusting the junk. First thought is that Rudy has an acute drinking problem. Second thought is that whether he was tucking his shirt or touching his junk is irrelevant. He already crossed several lines of what would be appropriate between a young woman and a much, much, much older man. Creepy AF Cohen jumped in about a minute too soon. 100%. Rudy thought he was about to get his pecker polished. You could tell SBC had specific cues he was waiting for to jump in and intervene before things got too intense for Bakalova. I'd bet that's why his outfit was so over the top, to make sure it would immediately redirect Giuliani's attention and stop whatever was happening. I'd imagine one of those cues was if Giuliani touched his own genitals, which he clearly did for whatever reason. So SBC ran in. If the call was clear on the field, it's not one I would overturn with replay review. As with most other commenters, I don't care if Rudy wanted to get it in with a 20-year-old woman. But don't discuss my nation's security while putting yourself in a compromising situation. And certainly don't lie about it afterward. Edit. Also, when Borat offers to have sex with RG, Giuliani clearly says, not with you, as if he was planning on closing the deal with someone else in the room. Regardless if he was tucking in his shirt or touching himself, he was, how about him coughing, asking for Tutar's phone number and address, agreeing to eat a bat with her, touching her lower back, and stating that China manufactured COVID and deliberately spread it all over the world. The whole interview is gross. You Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you.